Okay, guys, so we've got a number of insect specimens and moth specimens from our traps last night. Now, the thing we're going to do right now is we are going to properly take care of them so that they, uh, you know, so that we have the best specimens possible. So the first thing we're going to do, these are all our beetles and flies and whatever, little bugs. So what I'm going to do is I've got some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in this mix here. And, and what that does is it gets all the moth scales. Okay, so now that our bugs are, get all the moth scales off of them, kind of get them cleaned up. I can just take them out, put them on this piece of paper towel and let the alcohol dry a little bit. And, uh, and then we'll pin them up and we'll see what we have. So, yeah, especially when, when you're putting the beetles and stuff in a kill jar that you usually use for moths, um, one of the side effects is you're gonna have moth scales all over your beetles. There's moth scales come off in the jar. So we're gonna do away with all that. And now we're gonna have our, let's see, I got more bugs in here than I thought I did. All right, so here's last night's harvest of, of insects minus moths. Um, I've got a couple, a couple katydids came into the light traps. Um, I've got several different species of click beetle. You know, this one's just kind of like the brown guy. This one here, they have these glowing spots on their carapace or on their uh, th thorax. I got another click beetle species here. I haven't identified them yet. Um, and so, and I actually found one of the eyed click beetles. So I got a couple different cerambicid species. This one here with these actually pretty cool pattern there with the, the gold spot with the black stripe. Uh, that one was pretty common. Um, we got one of those guys and then a couple of these. Got some caddis flies. This fly right here, you know, the colors don't do justice now, but they're iridescent green. Uh, pretty cool. And then there's these bees right here. Um, these bees are kind of interesting to me. Uh, looking forward to seeing what those guys turn out to be. So uh, now it's time for the moths, guys. <laughs> 